My mic wasn't even in the right position, so that intro is trash. Anyways, let's continue. Hello everybody, and welcome back to the new save file. Once again, we are going to jump in as regular Andromeda, as I said in the previous episode, and see what we've got left to do as this guy, because I'm not actually sure. Uh, Dark Path? Okay, looks like we're doing Dark Path. Gotta love good old Andromeda. I love a bit of Tiny Planet. I love a bit of Antigrav. It's all Gucci. I do not like what I've done to myself here. Um, just absolutely a miracle that I didn't take damage there. Absolutely a miracle. <laughs> that was... That is like... This, this game telling me, hey... It's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. Oh, okay. That time I got hit, though. These guys these guys can absolutely go heck themselves. Ah, I probably should have played that a bit better and got that uh, nickel revealed. Okay, you shouldn't be too bad. Oh, good golly gosh. This might be a fat restart um, right here, depending on what our first item room ends up being, because I'm not very happy with the damage I've taken. Regardless, I, the... The first room, I was like, "Yes, this is this is telling me something. This is saying that this is the run." And now I'm I'm, I'm not so sure it is the run. I'm not so sure it is the run. But hey, her, we will try our best to prevail, regardless of being one health down, pretty much immediately. We will try our darndest to make this work. Uh, what am I looking for from my item room? What am I looking for from my item room? Okay, that was nice. Got some pennies. Was there a fool's gold rock that I didn't see or something there? I'm unsure. Good old bag of blood there. Okay, our item room is back over there and I just seemingly decided to just ignore that it existed. I don't really know why because uh, I was like still looking for it. Turns out I found it a while ago. I found it a while ago. Ask the question of the day, who's your favourite, like, actor or voice actor in anything? Who's something, someone that you always look for in a game or a movie or whatever? Ooh. Death's Touch Baby. The fire rate down's pretty rough, but the damage up plus piercing is very, very welcome. In fact, I should probably go back to the shop here as well. I've done Boss Rush and Hush, so I'm not on a time constraint. I should go back to the shop and look for a soul heart, considering... Um, but very, very happy with this situation right now. This is very good. Also, I love our, um, what we look like right now. Unfortunate. I love what we look like right now. In fact, um, I'm going to grab a bomb here. I know this seems stupid, but I could get a crawl space for doing this. Basically, I'm buying a bomb to get back that nickel so that I might get a crawl space plus an extra penny. It's not... It's not super likely, yeah, but I got one extra penny out of it, so... Hey, her. I love the sights of this guy as well. They just look amazing. And yeah, this this damage up is huge early on. It's just a shame this comes with the tears down, but we'll soon rectify that. We might even get a good old bit of squeezy. Squeezy or PJs are my prediction for um for the boss item we're to get here. That's my prediction. That's my that's my hope. My true hope is good old squeezy. But we shall see. Boom. <laughs> Certainly not displeased. Certainly not displeased. Our damage. Our damage is ludicrous. So let's hope that we can keep this going. I did say I was pretty uh, pretty hopeful that this was the run based on that first room of not taking damage. So this with piercing, this damage with piercing is pretty absurd. Uh, the only thing is right now is our current HP is not in a good way um, to survive a lot. So we, we've got we've got to still be careful here. We've got to still be careful, but I think we have a setup that allows us to make it pretty far. But yeah, as I was saying, like who's sort of your person that like is a go-to for you? Uh, there's quite a few people that I that I really like in pretty much anything. Michael Cera is someone that I just love seeing in any film. I mean, he's in quite a few of my favourite films, including, like, Superbad. Uh, but also, he's just been really good in pretty much everything he's been in. Youth and Revolt's really good. Um, he was really good in the new Barbie film as well. Like, really, really good in that. 
Um, ooh, the Halo, lovely. Um, there's, there's, there's a lot of films he's really, really good in, so he's definitely one of them. Um, th there's a lot of people like that. Voice acting-wise, obviously, um, what's his name? I don't even remember his name now. I'm going to have to Google this one second. Okay, I didn't have to Google it. The moment I paused the recording, I instantly remembered it's Troy Baker. Anything that Troy Baker voice acts in is just amazing. I found pills. Infested. Friends till the end. What makes you small? Repository. Spider unboxing. Lemon party. Yuck. Okay, it's all... That's it. That's everything. To be fair, that wasn't too bad. We didn't get anything positive, really. We didn't get anything negative, either. We did get a gulp, but it didn't gulp anything, so... I wouldn't exactly call it positive. Right. We do almost have enough to make the shop work, so we could go and take a look at what's going on in the shop. Do you got to remember, as well, that I can use my gravity shift in shops to make a 30 cent item appear from the treasure pool? I very, very rarely utilize that. Here's our tears up. Lovely. Right, let's quickly go and check on the shop and just see if there's anything worthwhile. I've only got one key, so it is a little bit risky, but we've got pennies around, so... There's also a key in here, actually. We've got two bombs, so... Where's this key? Okay. Check in here. So, for one, there's our penny. We've got quite a few pennies in here, actually. Uh, we did indeed get the smelter, which I am very, very down for. I really enjoy the smelter as, a, as an item. It's one of my favourites. And we got that going as well, which is lovely. Um, question is here, buy the soul heart or bomb and then buy whatever the other item is. Let's first try and do a, just a reroll without bombing it. Ah, unfortunate. And we'll just bomb it and see what we get. Um... And I think it's pretty safe to grab that. And then we'll grab a Hermit card here. And let's be on our way. Yeah, Smelter. Absolutely love it. Makes Trinket Drops more common as well. It's an incredibly, incredibly fun uh, item to have. Pretty happy with my health at this point, especially with this level of damage. So I think we're we're kind of good to go at this point. Item rooms have been really good thus far. We keep her going. We're going Dark Path and seeing what we can get unlocked. Are we doing... Um, are we doing Mega Satan on this run? We have already done Mega Satan. We could try and go Delirium Dark Path, so that's certainly on the cards for us here, and I'd, I'd be I'd be well up for that. But yeah, this is a beautiful run. That was a full heart of damage there, and I'm not particularly best pleased with that, but is what it is, I guess. Is what it is. Okay, getting bopped around like crazy here. Probably should have left that on the floor for um, a smelter charge in case we needed it. I took a risk. Do not like this situation with this guy. Yeah, okay, I didn't get hit there, surprisingly, but I was completely unable to move. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to grab that. Do you know what? Let's uh, let's do this. Ooh, Cyst is, Cyst is very, very good if we can manage to grab Cyst. We'll try and... Uh, Try and work up towards that. I did see there was a giant mushroom in the other room, by the way, but we do not have the bombs to destroy that. We'd need four bombs, uh, which right now we're not even close to. So we'll see if we get enough. But I'm not super, super hopeful. We are still going to go angel deal here regardless of everything. We're still going to go angel deal. We're getting a lot of keys right now when I really need bombs. Flight would be nice, but... I think that's wishful thinking, isn't it? The Emperor. It's not flight. I guess I'll hold on to the Emperor, why not? Okay. Let's keep moving. Come on, where's our trinkets at? Trinkets should be spawning more often. I realize that it doesn't make them common, but it does make them more common. Hey, we're halfway, almost halfway at least, to our uh, goal. See, we just need bombs like crazy. There's so many things here. Oh! This is just rude. Oh my god, this is a fucking amazing run. <laughs> I absolutely love this run right now. Ooh, hello. Uh, I don't really care about my luck right now. I will take this. Didn't give me a ton of money, but it's enough.
can't remember what it was that I wanted in the shop now, but I know I want it. Good old giant props in here. Unfortunately, we don't have the bombs to uh, even remotely destroy that right now. For shame. Right, shop, where, where are they? Oh my god, shop's way over there. I thought it was back this way. Yeah, I want to destroy that because we could get magic mush out of it or whatever, but doesn't think that's going to happen right now. Oh, there's so many bombable things right now for us. We need like 10 bombs for this floor. Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Assist, and I will buy one bomb, which I think I'm going to use to destroy the stone chest and hope it gives me more bombs back. Or should I use it to destroy... Well, first of all, let's do this. Then, yeah, let's do this. We'll like to get a bomb out of this. Or more likely, at least. There you go. We got a bomb out of it. And then we'll bomb this. Eh. Not too bad. Unfortunately, we're still three bombs off being able to destroy that mushroom, so that's still a pipe dream for right now, but... Our cyst shots does still reside around us and do that ten times damage, which is nice. Ooh, I love this. The scythe wheel. Big old damage up there. That's very nice. And then in here... Oh, boy. Well, this has been splendid. Still no thingy. Still no um, trinkets. But this has been very, very nice thus far. This run is... Uh, it's tickety-boo. We've got a bomb here, so we'll bomb this that I just saw. It gave us more bombs back as well. Unfortunate. Right, uh, we can actually go and open up the spike chests in there now and potentially get two more bombs. This is actually, this this floor could pan out. It could pan out. This, this, this is such good items here. Unfortunately, no more bombs. Still, though, that was worthwhile, I think. Technically, I actually maybe could play this machine to try and get bombs out of it, too. It's, again, unlikely, but it's probably worthwhile, actually. So let's give it a go. It's worth just keeping a thingy of, of uh, scythes around us in case a fly spawns. Come on, machine. I know my luck is low, even though that doesn't make any difference to the machines. Damn, these machines are just useless, aren't they? <laughs> just useless. Right, last Hail Mary is trying to find the secret room and then hoping that off the back of the secret room we can get more um, more bombs. Don't exactly know where secret room is as of right now, though. Um, I'm just trying to sort of work it out. It could be directly down from here. Just have a little look-see. No, it couldn't. Where the flippity flipping hell is it? Well, second secret room's probably here, right? I'll check this out. Not what we're looking for. And fair secret room, I just have zero clue as to where that might be. Well, let's just get this. Just get out of here. It's unfortunate. Big mushroom is not going to be destroyed today. But it is what it is. Right, one moment. I'm just going to have to pause real quick. Okay, let's keep this train of rolling. This 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 runs amazing. The only downside right now, as I see it, is Smelter just hasn't given us anything yet. And of course, here's the bombs dropping. Yeah, if we can get some Smelter stuff going on and some cool Smelter trinkets, then I'll, I'm going to be even more happy. Okay. Got to take out all the baby mushrooms wherever they are. One more of you presiding back here. Yeah, I'm going to say, it's weird to not have any of them drop yet. Beautiful. Oh, it's just such an amazing run. I've got to remember as well, I've got Holy Mantle right now, so I can be way more aggressive. I don't have to worry, really, at all. I love the fact that we got Cricket's Body with us as well. Cricket's Body is one of my favourite items. I love it. Good old meat. Lovely. Love a bit of meat. Love a bit of meat. Right. Let's keep on going down. 
But yeah, I gotta say, Troy, uh, as I was saying earlier about voice actors, Troy Baker's definitely, like, voice actor-wise, the person that I look for in a lot of games. I mean, to be fair, he's in so many of them, but his, uh, his portrayal as Joel from The Last of Us is just absolutely phenomenal. It's so goddamn good. I'm just waiting for these to go away so I can plant my bomb without it getting lobbed all over the place. Yeah, I gotta say, it's just absolutely amazing, and... If he's in something, I'm like, yep, it's, it's gonna, the voice acting's gonna be good at least. We know that. <laughs> we don't know about the writing. We don't know about the story. But the voice acting itself will definitely be good. That guy does not miss a beat. Secret room looks to be here, but <laughs> we don't have to test with a bomb. Yeah, it was. Another golden pill, okay. Okay, only got to use it twice. Bit of a shame. Oh my god, that, that like, cyst shot is so powerful on this character. Oh no, my holy mantle, what am I ever gonna do? Um, this is our first time we're actually gonna use gravity shift in here. Unfortunately, pretty, pretty useless. But I am not trading my spacebar item for anything. Even regard to the fact that currently it has been very tight-fisted with me and not given me anything. Okay. Oh, hello, Steven. That should blow up that red rock, right? Yes, it did. Good. Um, quickly see if I can use this in an appropriate place. Cursed eye. Big no thanks. Big, 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 no thanks. Um, cracked key. Where am I going to use you, cracked key? Where am I going to use you? Here, maybe? Ah, unfortunate. We tried. Quickly go back and grab my Emperor card. I don't want to leave that on its little lonesome. That is my wound skipper, which is a sentence never thought I'd be saying, but here we are. Gotta skip the wound. But yeah, this is just like a god tier setup of items. The Halo, Death's Touch, Pentagram, Cricket's Body, Max's Head for the extra damage, Cis Shot, Holy Mantle. It's just, oh. It's beautiful. It's a non-stop party for us. Non-stop. Right, anyways. To the next floor. Good, I love the fact that you're getting care shrooms for free with Holy Mantle as well. Just one of its many, 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 many pluses. But yeah, I think we're at the steamrolling point of the run now. I think we have been for a little while. Cyst just comes in and uh, kills everything. It's the fact that the tier, because its piercing persists for so long, we can get multiple kills with that one cyst shot. Still can't believe we've not had a single trinket yet, though. Normally, um, once you have... Uh, once you have Smelter, it's just like two or three trinkets drops a floor. Because it does actually increase the amount you get. It's not just for smelting trinkets. Hey, we got one of these rooms with a destroyable prop. So we actually do get to destroy one of these now. That's one. It's going to give us health as well. That's good. That's two. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, really? We got a good old good old terrible little ghost baby for that one it's not that's the good thing about those as well though you get like health and stuff for them they cost like four bombs but sometimes the items aren't even that good i think they're pretty reasonably balanced overall terror good old terror mixed in here We've got spider mod in there as well somewhere um, just perky gear. I'm not that interested. I guess I'll just buy this. Why not? I want to top my health up a little bit. You didn't die. Wow. And there's a ghosty in here as well that just got <laughs> annihilated. Oh my god, I'm loving this. I am loving this. We haven't seen our item room yet. We're going to hop on back for that. And then I could I could shortcut back to the boss fight by using my, uh, what's it called, Emperor card. But I don't feel like that's a great use of an Emperor card, to be honest. Like I said, 
I kind of wanted to skip the womb floors because it makes things a lot easier. If you get an XL floor, oh boy. You're in for a treat there. Skipping the entirety of the womb, oh yes. Extra speed is lovely. We've been speeding through the rooms at this point, so we have to speed through them even speedier. Speedier? Speedier. And this is a weird one. I don't know how that would work. It might be really bad. I'm going to pick it up and try it just to see. Okay, yeah, it's real bad. I'm just going to remove that real quick. Ah, uh, wait. That's not how that works. I've got to do remove model rocket. I had to try it to see if it was interesting. It's not interesting. <laughs> One of those things where I couldn't... I couldn't possibly not at least give it a go, but it kind of ruins everything a little bit. Good old clear rune. I guess I'll pick clear rune up and see what rune it drops. Anzus. Wait, what? Anzus gave us amnesia with clear rune? What? Was that a fake rune? Was that an Ansus rune rather than an Anzus rune? What the hell just happened to me? <laughs> I think I got I think I got jabated. That was pretty mean. <laughs> I think I got baited then. Oh, where the hell? Now I have no idea where the boss room is. Canal. I can't remember where I'm going at all anymore. I got absolutely baited. Oh, dude, I don't know where I'm going. Fuck me, I hate, I hate not having mapping. This way? This way? No, we've just been, so where is it then? I've been everywhere possible, right? It's got to be left. Left, then down? Yeah, then down. Then left. Then left. No. So then it's down. Then down. Then left. Then down. Okay, we're here, finally. Okay. That was confusing. This guy's looking rather gnarly. Good, good. I'm not going to take that. I don't need it. Do not want a tears or a um, damage down, please. Or a health down, for that matter. We do have money for the shop as well if we get to the shop. Yeah, I don't care if you're going to hit me. I've got Holy Mantle. Your hits do not hurt me whatsoever. Oh, I've been able to just sit next to the enemies like that. It's so good. Holy Mantle makes things a lot easier. I should probably... I, I lost my Emperor card at some point. I don't know where... I'm guessing I, I traded it for the Ansus rune and never picked it back up. My bad. It's okay. I'll take my Fool card and try and skip Boss Rush. What's going on in here? Man. What a great gravity shift. This gravity shift thing can be really sucky sometimes. Like, really sucky. A shame. Some of the layouts in it are just terrible. Nah, none of that, please. We've not got long. Okay, we just found the boss room. Good. Ow, I did get hit there. I can at least skip boss rush here, most likely. As long as we kill you fast enough, which I think we will. How long we got? 1924. We're going dark path. Quickly check this out. Eye of Balor is real good. I'll take Eye of Balor. Probably should have taken, um, what's it called as well? We'll take Booster Box. Booster Box is a lot of fun. And we'll scoop out of here. And make our way down. 
Beautiful stuff. Yeah, Aya Balor, uh, I think it's you basically do two times damage to the enemy in the room with the most HP. Or the least HP. It's one of the, it's one of the two. I don't remember. Anyways. We are away. We have gone. Yeah, booster box can be a little erratic, but I overall really like it. It can, uh, it can provide some pretty interesting stuff, like a good old sun card. There's a planetarium back there as well. I'll quickly go and check out this, uh, this secret room here, the Magus here. Still not a single trinket, though. Trinkets have eluded us thus far. I don't really need this money. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, go get my planetarium. And then we shall go. God damn, this thing, this penny thing just goes on forever. It's just not stopping. And... We'll take that. Bit of Uranus. Why not? See, Uranus seems to be a really common planetarium item for me. See, it seems to be one of my most common ones other than Mars. Okay. Just passing through. Oh my god, yeah, this is amazing. Oh my god. Just freezing everything. Ain't no worry for us. Good old Fallen. Nope, I do not want that extra life. I do not care for it. Shame for that item. That item can... It basically takes priority over any other respawns and I hate that, so... It ain't for me. Oh wow. Fantastic. Yeah, when he's got that eye over him, he takes more damage. I think it's I think it's twice as much damage. I'm not exactly sure how much, but I know it's a good amount. Definitely makes a difference from what I've seen. Pop the strength there. There is a few cards that it can pop that can kind of screw us over. But for the most part, it's good. Just keep going and freezing literally everything in our path. Nothing will escape. Our icy, icy goodness. Love the fact that enemies that have multiple stages just get instantly killed. Ain't nothing they can do to us. Oh god, that guy healed himself real quick, but he is now frozen. Whoa, another planetarium. Now that, that I was not expecting. See, we got a uh, card there that just restarted the room, so that screwed us a little bit. Another planetarium. Neptunus. Oh, baby. So now we can fire off a big barrage of shots when we enter a room. See, the unknown's a really rough one as well. The unknown can activate any card. So there is restrictions on what uh, booster box can activate, but it can activate the unknown, which can activate anything. So if you get really unlucky, you could get the unknown to activate like a full run reroll or something. It'd be super unlucky, but it could happen. Very annoyed to have to do this phase for almost no reason, because he's basically dead already. And we're going dark path, remember. Check this out. Hellfire's pretty good, but is it worth three hearts? Yes, it is. I'm just going to take it. We're doing Dark Path. Yes. Because our health is actually not that problematic when we have Holy Mantle. Like, we don't have to worry about having low HP, really. Okay, just keep pushing through. Still not a single thing for Smelter. Smelter has just been... Completely and utterly useless to us, which is more than a shame. Little devil card there. I think we're going the right way. Nope, we are not. 
Good to know. Good to have that confirmed literally instantly. Okay, pills in that lot I'm not that interested in. Should check in here for soul hearts. There is a bag of blood. I should go and check that out. Nah, unfortunately not. Imagine if you could trigger sack rooms on a uh, holy mantle. That would be so cheesy. Right. Yeah, we're, we're at like the terminal velocity of this run now. Just got to keep it rolling. Looking for luck pennies if I can see them, but haven't had any yet, I don't think. Ho, ho, ho. Check this out. Okay, shouldn't ever, ever press multiple buttons. Yeah. What a terrible idea. Just lost a lot of HP. Never press multiple buttons on these floors. Always going to end badly. So technically we could still lose this run. <laughs> based on my own idiocy so far. But let's hope not. I'm noticing the Hellfire isn't really triggering. So it's a bit of a shame that I picked that up. I mean it just triggered there. But overall it's not triggering very much. Okay, actually kill these guys now. Also, we're just not getting any like really health drops or anything, are we? Right, wait for them to press, like subside. Not you. Just in case we got a soul heart, I had to check. You dead. This should be pretty quick. Although, a little hard to not get hit. Okay, not too bad. Meteorite unlocked. Nice one. Right. Maybe we should have taken the revive, looking at things now with health. But we'll see what we get from these. Damn, I was hoping for one of those to be a free revive, but sadly not. Okay, Gish is a boss that I'm still not familiar with, so I'm glad that he uh, perished swiftly. Luck-wise, we're probably not going to get many, if any, chests here, so let's not really even remotely worry about that. We get justice there. We did get a half soul heart out of justice, that's nice. This room's over. Right, so that's what I'm kind of hoping for right now, is that Booster Box gives us some, like, Hero Font cards, stuff like that. Some good stuff to tide us over. Don't know what that is. Okay, we've got this room. We do want to use this for Void, um, but only once we've done our boss, because it could technically remove Holy Mantle from us. If it does, we're kind of screwed, but we'll see. We can't say for sure what it'll remove yet, so hold our horses so far. Because we have no idea. The tower, lovely. Got a little bit of the tower. Apparently there's an enemy still in here. A little ghosty. Chilling, making things more difficult. We do have our soul of Azazel here to make the boss easier. I've been holding on to that for a while. These guys will drop soul hearts on death. Lovely. That's something nice at least. Okay, these guys will be released if I uh, fuck around too much, so let's uh, not. Chariot isn't ideal here, but it allows us to still kill the room. Okay, on to our boss. We'll use our soul of Azazel to uh, get through this once we fired our first barrage. Oh my god, I was not expecting it to look like this. I maybe should have saved it for um, 
for what's it called? No, don't go in the chest. Oh my god, that was close. Maybe I should have saved it for the delirium fight. This thing's way more wild and damaging than I thought it would be. Anyhow, let's go back up to our uh, thingy room. And see what it takes from us. Let's take stock of our items. So. Oh, there's a trinket, actually. There you go. Um, so it's going to take us... Don't know what it took there. Let's just check my tiers. Still got Holy Mantle. Still got Death Touch. Still got my Planetary Mount. Still got Cricket's Body. Still got Cyst. Um, still got Death Touch. Still got Cyst. Okay, I don't think it took anything super major off of us there. My damage still looks good. Don't know how this will go, obviously, because our health isn't great right now, but we'll see. My hope is that room-wise, we should be pretty much fine to just breeze through all of these rooms. And we can just make our way towards the bosses and get some good items off of the bosses. We'll see if that ends up being the case. Oh, I've got the organization here. Not a fan of you, good lad. Not a fan of you. Now that is unexpected. That was a lot of HP I was not expecting to get there. Very happy with that. Very, very nice. Okay. That has put our HP in a way, way safer position. To the point where now I'm not actually worried really at all. I think we should be able to have this in the bag. Just got to actually find the boss now is all. That's the hard bit. You know me, when we're on Delirium Floor, I tend to like to go every which boss apart from the one we're heading to. Good, good, good. A lot of these enemies that have their death effects won't actually trigger them, so we don't have to worry about them shooting us from a distance. Don't really have a plan of action in terms of which way I'm going. Maybe I'm hoping for Booster Box or just proc a Sun card. That would be, uh, that would be really nice. Sun or World from Booster Box about now would be very, very lucrative. We've got you. Be very annoying, but should be dead very, very swiftly. 4.5 ball, although not good right now, will be good if we get something that actually works in the boss for us. We get another active item that works in the actual boss fight, like a shoot the whoop or something. Could be really, really good with 4.5 volt, you never know. Right, we'll see though. See if we actually get any more items or if we just end up hitting the boss straight away. The whole point of this guy is I'm meant to push him into the, uh, I'm meant to push him into the spikes, but. Okay, it worked. I was like, it's, it's not happening. Eventually it will. Good old horseman. And backstabber. Oh, backstabber with this is very, very strong. Delirium with bleeding is just good anyways, because he moves around a lot, so bleed does a lot of damage. But backstabber for the extra damage when we're basically guaranteed to hit things in the back is uh, particularly quite a nice addition to our run here. Beautiful stuff. Another boss. I was about to say, at this point, I don't really care if I hit Delirium straight away. And of course, we did. But we get Aya Balor permanently on this guy, pretty much permanently at least. Um, which is nice. We're going to get bleed on him most of the time, if not all of the time. We're just doing good damage anyways. We've got Holy Mantle. We've got good health. I think this is just in the bag for us, really. I don't think there's too much that can go drastically wrong here. I did just lose my Holy Mantle, but I'm not that bothered by that. Realistically, the best thing for us is going to be if we can uh, have him return to his base form and then just absolutely destroy him while he's in his base form with no um, boss damage cap. 
No armor. Oh god, I've got an itchy eye. Okay, Hellfire was doing some wild things there, but seemingly a deserver. Yeah, this is what we want. Him doing them things where he dashes across the whole room while he's got bleed on him. Even when he teleports, teleporting just counts as very, very fast movement. So in terms of, like, the logic of bleed's damage, when they teleport across the room, bleed does a lot of damage. Like that, that is, that is perfect for us, seeing him do that launch. Here he is in base form, see if we can get some damage on him. Unfortunately, obviously, he doesn't move in this base form, so... We're not going to get bleed damage on him, but as long as we can get good base damage on him. I don't even care about taking damage when he's in his base form like this. I just want to get as much damage on him as I can. Saying that, saying that, we're not actually doing great in terms of HP. Like, the, the foot the foot isn't helping. When, when he's in foot form, we've got about 40% of the HP left, and we only have four hits left ourselves, so... We're actually not doing too hot. I thought this would be pretty much a in-the-bag sort of thing, and it's really not at the moment. I think I played it a bit too close while he was in his base form. I think I need to be a little bit more defensive. Basically, what I need to be doing is hitting bleed on him and getting the hell out of the way for a while while he does damage to himself. we've been doing just now, and I think it's been working out reasonably well. I can't... Problem is, I can't... I don't have the range to get in, it, in on him while he's doing that without taking damage, which is why I took so much before. Uh, excuse me. Why is there now two of you? Why is one of you firing extremely large shots? Don't fuck me. Oh, that's creep. I didn't realize that was creep. God damn it. So, okay, we've got three hits left. That eternal heart is given to give us an extra hit. Like, at this point, I just can't get in there. The bat's actually a really good one for him to transform into. While it's deadly, he moves around so much, he probably does so much damage to himself. Sacrificial blood, why not? Okay. Now that was just an unavoidable bit of damage there. Okay, I got hit again there. So we are now about to die. I'm not hopeful anymore at all. Which is a shame, because I was, I was feeling like I was doing really well for a while there. And now I'm very, very uh, disturbed. Why are you spawning so much shit, my guy? Why are you spawning so many enemies? I don't even know what's going on right now. There's shots everywhere and I'm not sure what any of them belong to or where they're from. Ah, you're over there. That's what's creating extra shots. That guy's going to kill me with the flies if I'm not careful. Bleed should kill him now. There's a spider there, it's gonna kill me. There we go, we got it, we got it. Just don't die to this little prick firing flies at me. Hey, we did it. Okay. That was that was risky, but we got there in the end. I hope you guys did enjoy that amazing run. I'll see you guys in the next one.